Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Today I am sharing this tiny little journal I recently made and I super love how it came out. So what I did is it's a soft cover that I have um, stitched some fabric onto and these are all um, primarily leftover bits that I have that I love to repurpose so it's very eco-friendly. Um, here I actually hand stitched the butterfly onto the um, cover there with the buttons and um, I did add lace and uh, fabric to kind of finish up the layering and of course the back has the fabric piece and I'm not sure if you can notice but it's been stitched on so the entire thing um, there's a lot of sewing in this journal even though it's tiny so let me just check that I am in frame and I'm trying to kind of hold everything down so you can see it. So the back here, it looks like um, what I did is I added piano paper roll. I've made like a digital of it because I had some and I didn't want to rip it all up. So I added that there. It's a tiny little um, postcard, little tag, and then the cutest little envelope you have ever seen. I think this is from Nick the Booksmith, I think, but I'm not sure. Um, this is vintage book page and I just kind of made sure to you know find the piece that had something that could kind of be framed onto the first page the back I made a pocket and this is just some leftover magazine bits that I had I liked it because of the script and I thought you could use in you know journaling this again is vintage book page and I added some vellum to that that has already printed on it so I thought it was just nice looking this is a fabric page and so what I did is I stitched on another piece of fabric and then did a little hidden spot there with what if. And then the other side of the fabric page has a lace pocket and this is um, from Tim Holtz I believe this piece. And just for you know a little tuck spot there. This is unbleached paper. Vintage wallpaper. And then again, some layering with fabrics and laces and that little flower there. On this side, I made a little flip up, flip down. that looks like a little envelope. In the back, I have a little ticket. This is a lace uh, pocket or page, I should say. Again, leftover vintage paper, the other side. And then here again, I stitched on um, a piece of Oh, I forgot what this is called, <laughs> um, but I attached it to this ticket, which I like how the numbers just kind of pop out of there. And then in the back, I made kind of like a little belly band where I stuck another little ticket and it can go in through either side. The center, I'm sure you can see the stitching throughout there. I just made a little tuck spot there with a little ticket. And then I made a little tag and I added some fabric uh, trim to the top and then these flip out I just like to have lots of interactive pieces in these tiny journals this is from a sample I think a fabric sample I did stamp on it like a script stamp and then when you open that up it says dream and it's got a little I have to show you this because it's so cute let me come up look how cute that is I hope it's focused see how cute the scissors with the ribbon I had to use that. I think it's from one of the magazines that um, I had leftover bits from. Again, um, the other side of the vintage book page. Again, the lace uh, page. Here is a little bit of sorry fabric and then I just kind of made a little secret thing. You can put something at the bottom. Excuse my dog, he's just drinking water at this exact moment that I didn't need him to. <laughs> Um, and then I've got a little pocket here with uh, just another little piece of ephemera. Archie needs my attention right now. He wants to go outside, so I have to let him out in a minute. Um, and then vintage uh, wallpaper the other side. And then here I just did again some layering with some, um, uh, oh my gosh, vellum paper. And then that little... Uh, word there that says daisy and then some lace just stapled that on there uh, the other side of the fabric page 
And then here's the tiniest little pocket with a tiny little tag. And then on this side, I just added an envelope. I think these are from Tracy Fox. And then added a little ephemera piece. Here I made the little uh, kind of tuck spot behind the envelope with another little ephemera piece. And almost at the end here, I don't want to mess this up. And then we've got the little pocket. I made this little kind of like a, a library pocket with a little, um, you know, ephemera piece. And you can also tuck something in the back a little bit thinner than this one, but you can tuck something back there. And then I printed these numbers out with like this really vintage giant stamp that I have. I just wanted to see how the numbers came out and I really like, um, you know, just kind of the numbers being added to that. So this one has been sold already. I miss it. I love it. Um, I'll be making some more. Um, but questions, comments, please leave them below. And I hope you enjoyed the share. Thanks so much for stopping by.